I recently got this awesome drill for my birthday from my wife. In the box, came, it came with two Makita batteries. This is my old drill. The battery pack for this drill packed up. It was a NICAD battery pack. And I can show you what it looks like. This is it. Um, this battery pack is dead. And what I did was I printed a 3D printed a little adapter and the Makita battery can just simply slide into it and now I have a working battery. And this thing is pretty strong and it's freaking awesome. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. Stay tuned. So all the components, so obviously this, this part just goes straight into the drill. And this piece, I literally just took aluminium and I bent it around the corners. It takes a couple of practice rounds to get it right, but um, it wasn't too hard. And when you initially download the zip file that contains all the components, you get two of these. This one is, you're supposed to use the Makita battery terminal that just slides into this. I think you glue it in or something like that. But so this part is not used. So we're going to take it away. We're not going to look at that part. So here's an alternative version of this. As you can see, this one has got a hole in it and this one doesn't. And these ones got these little guides. And I already bent the plates. So this will slide into this like that. And that will slide into this side like that and this piece will then bolt straight onto this and these little pieces just comes onto the side like that it doesn't actually do anything well it doesn't look like it's doing anything um, so I'll probably just glue it down to so that there's no holes just makes it look a little bit better and then obviously we have a couple of screws so once you slide this piece in like that and you can put a little screw in there. So once that's done, then we're going to probably have to trim this off a little bit and solder or something. I don't know if you can solder on aluminium. I'm going to try. I don't think you can. And then we pretty much have it assembled and we'll test it out afterwards. Um, the insides are soldered really, really ugly, but it's a solid solder, so yeah, um, looks clean from the outside. So let's see if it fits onto the battery, like that, and you know, just put it uh, hmm. and now I see what those plastic clips was for. Okay, we've got a problem. I glued these in and now it can't go in all the way. So back to the drawing board. So hopefully we will be able to the glue was just put in here. Okay, so it's at least the super glue, it was just super glue, not epoxy. Um it's just started to gel. Okay, so now Let's see if it all fits. And that's it, people. Now I have an extra drill. And by the way, these batteries only charge in 15 minutes, so it's, uh, an extra drill is really not necessary. But um, the 3D print for this uh, thingy from Thingiverse will be available in the description. Um, I have to give credit to the guy who designed this. He's an absolute genius, man. He really literally saved my drill's life. Otherwise, it would have gone to the dustbin. Cheers, everybody. Have a nice day. Don't forget to smile and thank you for watching.